What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another car video. Car video. And today, we are going to talk about Mark Fernandez, Collider, John Campia. They just had a live stream over on John Campia's channel. They had a lot of people watching, rightfully so. It was very interesting. And if you're not familiar with the situation, the CEO of Collider, Mark Fernandez, big YouTube channel, big website. He pretty much fired most of his creative staff uh, without any warning, without giving them any final show. And I've talked about it in, in another video, so if you want more context to it, ultimately Mark Fernandez is a guy with a lot of money. He bought Collider and he has essentially ran Collider into the ground. Now, as I said in my other video, I used to be a big fan of Collider, used to be a big fan of John Campia, and John Campia is the person that built Collider. He's the man that built Collider, their YouTube channel, and everything. So regardless of what you think of John Campia now, you have to give that man respect for what he did. He built Collider and made it what it is today, and gave you know, Mark Fernandez an opportunity to buy into something that could have been just, he could have taken it to the next level if he had any if he had any idea of the business he was in, but he's just a guy with a lot of money and wanted to buy stuff up that was already successful. Um, but they had a you know live stream over on John Campia's channel, and Mark Fernandez did himself no favors whatsoever. The more the man talked, the worse the situation got. Um, it, essentially, what Mark Fernandez did is he made John Campia more relevant, um, and he's built he's he's getting more subscribers to go to John Campia's channel, and ultimately. The man just doesn't understand what he's doing, and it's a real simple solution for Mark Fernandez. If you want to, if you want to uh, stop the bleeding at Collider, if you want to right the wrongs for what you've done by firing people that have been grinding and you know helping maintain your platform, so you can do all of the stupid deep fake crap and all of your celebrity interviews, the people that you fired, which I don't even like a lot of them. But the fact is, is they were the ones that were keeping you afloat. They were the foundation. And you just fired them. You just fired them without warning. And then you had this guy, Jack Hind, who's part of your company that was basically throwing shade at people that lost their jobs. And it's unbelievable. The self-awareness is off the charts. And then Mark Fernandez says, oh no, I, I, Jack wanted to apologize, but I wouldn't let him. What are you, what are you doing, bro? What, what, what are you doing? So again, it's a simple fix here. It's a simple fix. Mark, Mark, I'm going to help you out. Mark, I'm going to help you out. Because I'm sitting here in a car video. Low production value. And then when I'm in my studio, it's a pool house with a $75 webcam. Mark, you don't understand the business you're in. But what I am going to tell you, it's a really simple fix. You need to call John Campia, the person you were just live streaming, and you just say, John, what can it take for you to come back to Collider and help me? What is it going to take? Do I need to give you creative control? Do I need to give you some ownership? What do I need to give you, John Campia, to come fix the mess that I have created? Because regardless of how you feel about John Campia, the man has been in this game for a long time, a very, very long time, and he knows what he's doing. He He's helped inspired me to create what I have. And even if I have disagreements with John about a lot of things, that man inspired me. Because of what he did with AMC Movie Talk, then it moved over into Collider Movie Talk. He's created his own brand. John Campia knows what he's doing. And if Mark Fernandez wants to fix all of the problems he has created, there's one person he needs to call, and that's Campia. And just give him whatever he wants. Give John Campia creative control. Give him power. Give him the budget he wants. Give him a piece of the ownership in the Collider and move out of his way, Mark Fernandez. Step aside and let someone that has done this for so long and ultimately built the house that you purchased, step aside and let him rebuild the disaster you have created. Because that is about the only thing I see because the things that were coming out of this man's mouth, Mark Fernandez is like, oh, I'm gonna change the face of media, yada, yada, yada. What are you talking about, bro? You can't... You have destroyed a mega brand because you don't know what you're doing. This is unbelievable. 
I mean, I don't have anything against Mark Fernandez as a person. I don't know him that well. He mentioned that he wanted to talk to me a while back on one of their shows. I'm not really interested in that. Um, if he wanted to, if he wanted to come on Geeks and Gamers and talk to me about what's going on, I will be happy to let that uh, to oblige. And I'm not going to be a jerk. I know everybody gets caught up in the sarcastic Jeremy. Jeremy, sarcastic Jeremy's so mean. If I need to be respectful, I will be respectful. Um, you know, a lot of it I play up for the cameras because it just really offends a lot of people. And I really, I really get a kick out of seeing people get offended over me uh, by thinking I'm this or I'm that or whatever. At the end of the day, I'm thankful for where I'm at. I'm very appreciative of where I'm at. I do give John Campia a ton of credit for inspiring me to be where I'm at. Um, and I think John has handled this entire situation absolutely wonderfully in terms of this Collider nonsense. He's he's doing a great job, and it, Collider is the house that John Campia built, and I think that, that they should hand it back over to John. They hand it back over to John, give him creative control, give him a budget, and let him rebuild it into uh, you know what it could have become because Collider was on a, a hell of a good path uh, just a few years ago, and for whatever reason Campia left, I'm not going to pretend to know the details of, of, of why he left and, and all that, but... Collider was was killing it, and they could have taken things to the next level. And it kind of sucks to see where they're at. The other thing, too, is Mark Fernandez has got this thing, this idea of competition or whatever. I'm not competing with John Campia. John Campia is not competing with me. We're not competing with Collider. We're not competing with other people. There is far, there is plenty of room for all different YouTubers and different opinions. That's why Geeks and Gamers has so many content creators that we're attached to. That's why the Fandom Menace is so supportive of people. There's no competition. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. There's no competition. Just like, again, I bring up the whole, I got more subs than John Campia bullshit, whatever. It's nonsense. It's just me playing an arrogant douchebag because I know you sensitive little betas out there will cry about it. There's no real competition. We are doing our own thing. We're playing our own game and certain people are going to, you know, we're going to appeal to certain people and other people are going to appeal, appeal to a different crowd and then there's going to be some carryover. But there's no competition. This isn't Coke versus Pepsi. This isn't McDonald's versus Burger King. The fact that that dude thinks like that it just shows he doesn't understand the business he's in. It is ridiculous. But I will just close by saying, hand it to uh, hand it, hand Clyder to Campia and get out of his way. That would be the best decision you can make right now. Give it to him. Give him creative control. Give him full, uh, give him a mega budget uh, and just stay the F out of his way, Mark. Just go on vacation, man, because Campia will build that thing back up and he will make you so much more money than you could have ever imagined by this business venture that you are, have put yourself into but having no clue how to operate or manage the business that you're trying to get involved with. Anyway, that's my thoughts uh, on this whole situation. Also, also, uh, I planned on dropping this uh, a couple of days ago, but I'm about to play something at the end of this video and I want you all to check it out. Uh, this is very, very serious, uh, and and I definitely want you guys to take a, a strong look at this. This is very, very. I'm very excited about this, and um, this is what Geeks and Gamers is ultimately always. I've, I've wanted it to be, and we're finally taking that next step, and I'm very excited about it. So thank you guys for checking this out. Please watch to the end of the video. Consider uh, supporting us. In this venture, this is the first of many that we are going to be, uh, you know, stepping into with uh, different efforts across the board for geeks and gamers. And I really appreciate all of you. You've all allowed me to have the opportunity to do these types of things, and I can't thank you enough. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Hey, this is Jay with Geeks and Gamers with a special announcement. Over the past few years, several of us have been trying to complete a home that will house orphans and displaced children in the country of El Salvador. We were hoping that this home would be finished by the time Christmas rolled around in 2019. Unfortunately, we did not meet our goal to complete this home. Partnering with Jeremy and all of us here at Geeks and Gamers and with you, we are setting up a GoFundMe to raise some funds that hopefully will help us get closer to our goal in completing this home. We will use the money to hire professionals to check out the home and also pay for some educational costs for many of the children. This will help with the burden of those raising money and more money can be put into this home to be completed. 
Me and several staff members from Geese and Gamers will be traveling to El Salvador at the end of May that we can bring a significant amount of money to finish this project. We hope that you would want to partner with us in this as well. So please click on the link, read about it, and do the best that you can. Thank you so much.